Welcome to Retro Coder. I'm Nate Bothman. This episode's exciting because we're going to see what's on my three and a half floppy disk. I know there's some quick basic games on there that I created years ago, but I don't know what they are. So let's do this. Well, it looks like on the disk I got a modem program and then four different programs that I wrote or games that I wrote. Blackjack, Crabs, Hangman, and some sort of standings and then you just want to take that and I transfer to QB45 folder and into the disk folder and then let's go ahead and load DOS box and then go ahead and start going into the direct QB45 directory and then loading quick basic once quick basics loaded we'll go ahead and open one of the programs and I also I made a code folder and then also a folder for that disk. And then we'll just go ahead and load Blackjack. And uh, looks like I wrote it December 3rd, or started writing December 3rd, and then finished on December 23rd, which happens to be my birthday in 1995. So we're just gonna go ahead and scroll down and take a look at the code a little bit. Um, it does seem like a fairly long program, so we're not gonna spend all day going through all the code, so let's just go ahead and run the program and see what it looks like. And I noticed there's some feedback from the high-pitched sounds, so bear with me because there is a cool sound that I want you to hear at the end of the program when you win. Um, my sister actually helped me out with it. She helped me with the music part, and there's different winning routines so I just gotta keep playing until we see the routine that I want to see. Incidentally um, the deck looks like a, a Chinese deck. Um, I don't know why I made the cards like that. Um, apparently if you add some more stars to the back of the deck it would be the Chinese flag. I'm not sure but it looks like I'm just keep losing. Um, now yeah, there's a tie. So I even have a different routine for uh, when, you, when you tie the game. So let's see what happens. I got 14. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I actually won. I thought I was going to bust that game. Um, so we'll just keep playing until uh, hopefully it won't take all day and we have a video that's 50 minutes long because of the particular winning subroutine doesn't show up. But I'll just keep playing until it happens. Oh, well, that one showed up again. So, let's see if we can win. Dealer busted. Ah, different winning routine. Well, I'm at least making some money, which very rarely ever happens in real life. Um, there, I just busted. Um, let's go ahead and bet 100. Let's see what happens. Uh, that's a bad situation. You know, 15, they're showing 10. Most likely, you're going to lose that uh, round. Um... At 21, I thought that I might be able to give him a bust. So let's keep trying here. Um, this was a tough decision. Maybe I'll just go with one. And keep hitting it. Oh, I won. And here's the routine. And that's the song. Oh, it gives you a chance to uh, save the game, which is another added feature. So, and that was the song that my sister helped me make, because I'm not musically inclined. So let's go ahead and open up a, a craps game, and play some more casino games. And this one, it looks like I programmed in one day, on December 17th. So it was in the midst of making my uh, blackjack game. Because back then, I, uh, I might have been a sophomore in high school, but I really love programming. I programmed all the time. Calculators, computers, it didn't matter. So let's go ahead and see how this game looks. Um, let's go ahead and bet 100. And first roll I win. Awesome. 7 come 11. So I'll go ahead and quit and we'll go on to uh, another program to look at. Let's go ahead and look at the... Um, let's go to the standing one next. Or, and that, it looks like it's keeping track of stats for Skipbo, which used to be a fun game I'd play quite often. 
So it's asking for how many players, how many points each player earns. So we'll go ahead and put in me and my brother-in-law. And it does some sort of a chart and then it shows the rankings for Skippo. So that's pretty much a useless program. So let's go ahead and open up another one. And the last one we're gonna look at is Hangman. And this one it looks like it's the states and capitals. And it says that I programmed it November 12, 1995. So Nate and company. So let's go ahead and type in my name and then start the game. I do have to put the caps lock on because it's it is case sensitive which is bad programming, but you know, I was pretty young back then. Um, I'm not very good with my states and capitals, so I'm probably gonna screw this one up, but uh, we'll just keep guessing. Uh, maybe, oh, now I know what it is. That one's uh, Trent, New Jersey. Now let's go ahead and go on and do one more, and then we'll call it quits. Um, now this is obvious that it's Oregon, but I got a brain fart when I did this, so I ended up sucking and then not getting it and drawing out the whole guy. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Until next time, thanks for watching.